Yeah, this really isn't even modem. The iPad is used as the modem. Oh, okay. It's communicating a GPS string through this to the monitor hmm. that you have in the tractor. And this gives you that sub-inch accuracy. Oh, cool. I was looking at some of those yield maps, and you could see when you came to the waterways and different things, it was it was close, but you could still tell there was probably three to four feet there. So I want to see the um, next few fields you combine with this RTK uh, deal, how close that's going to be. Cool. So, and yeah, it's I'm excited to run it. It's really not much. Got a nine pin serial port on the one end. Um, this goes to power it up. Just a uh, um, two wire power there. Hmm. How's it going? You don't look dirty enough yet for I took my coat off. three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Ryan, and I'm sitting here with Andrew in the combine, and he's setting up the RTK for the monitor, and um, it's this little stupidly small yet expensive little box, and um, this will help get our accuracy down to a sub-inch. So. Yeah, absolutely. So what we have here is a Bluetooth transmitter. We're going to use an iPad for this demo um, as our RTK modem. Um, we are running MyWay RTK. It's a base um, station RTK service. It's cell based. And uh, like Ryan said, we're going to be sub inch accuracy. We have been running on the WAS signal, which is free. Um, it, uh, it's usually within 8 to 12 inches accuracy, but it's not a repeatable signal. So RTK is going to be repeatable pass to pass year to year and uh, very. Very accurate, uh, very reliable signal, and yeah, we're going to run that uh, for at least the next few fields. Yeah. Um, see how it does with this new monitor. It's going to be exciting. Very exciting. All right. Well, let's get started. This is the Xfinity logo right up there. Okay. Um, if I'm connected, it'll show a connected symbol. If we click on that, go to data transfer, it gives us the opportunity to log in once we're connected. So here's, um, there's my iPad right there. Yep. My iPad's in the truck, I, my hotspot's not turned on. There's your Wi-Fi in the house. Hmm. I'm gonna create a Wi-Fi from this iPad. And then I can share the hotspot, because this is a cellular iPad. I'll, I'll share the hotspot from here with the monitor. Okay. And with the Xfinity Essentials, it's normally about a $500 plan. But Essentials will transmit any data that's going on in the monitor up to the cloud. Okay. So you can see it, you know, if, if you want to see in the grain cart what's going on in the combine, you'd be able to view it on any, any iPad. Oh, really? As long as there's a hotspot in here. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to go to the settings. We've got personal hotspot. We're going to turn that on. There's a Wi Fi password I'm going to need to put in there as soon as it finds it. So, now so technically, because that's connected and because I have a hotspot in here, mm -hmm. um, as long as that's connected, you see the cloud symbol that it just showed up back there? Mm -hmm. So everything that's going on in the cab is now being transmitted up to the cloud. Okay, so for guys so that have two combines running in the same field, you can watch them go around. You'd see what's going on on this screen with both machines. Or what's even more important is planting. If you had two planters in the same field and you wanted the clutches to turn off based on what the other planter oh. did, mm -hmm. it'll communicate to each other that way. That's pretty cool. But, you know, just it's a lot less hassle than having to put stuff on a USB drive and then put it on a computer. Like it does everything automatically. It's handy. It is, yep. So if you want. You know, when you're planting and you have that all set up and then you want to go out two months later and check what your planting population was in that spot, boom, you've got it on your iPad and you can look it up. Hmm. You know, you're walking with an agronomist or chemical person or whatever, any of that data is right there. You don't have to go to a computer and print stuff off or any of that anymore. Cool. So it's pretty slick. Mm -hmm. um, so that's set up. And really, there's really not much to it. Just have the iPad on the hotspot. Okay. I think that'll stay on. I mean, this. I don't really don't need to mess with this much, do I? Or what? You shouldn't have to. Okay. Um, so it will just make sure it's charged, and then yep. Make sure it's connected. Yep. And yeah, it should automatically connect. If you, I, 
think it'll go in a sleep mode on its own. Okay. Um, but like when you're done for the day, just hit the power button. You might have to turn the power button on for it to connect. Um, and then if it's not, if you don't see that cloud up there, just click on that, that data transfer. And then you'll see down here where it'll say wireless networks, click on that and okay. hit connect again. Okay. Um, but yeah, and that, oh, there it is. Look at that background. <laughs> Sweet. Dude. That's the only monitor out there right now that will put background imagery on what you're doing. Dude, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Something really went goofy with this strip in here when I was looking at the yield map. Yeah, because they forgot to spray it, right? I think that's what happened. Yeah. There's your green, yellow, red. There we so go. So that's the strip that was missed spraying. Yeah. And it was about 90 bushel. I took this strip next to this strip just as a comparison. 90 bushel difference. Jeez. Yeah, it makes a difference when they forget. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the farm's green. Mm-hmm. A lot of this was running 260 in there. And this was running about 150 to 170. Oh. Um, so I switched this to RTK external. All right. Stable lock means uh, if you get in a field where, say you get to the bottom and you don't have any cell phone signal, mm -hmm. uh, stable lock will allow it to flex back to WAS and not completely let you lose GPS signal. Okay. Uh, but hopefully that's rare. I know cell phone signal around here can be a little tough in mm -hmm. a couple spots. Um, what I'm doing right here is I'm looking for the device on the iPad. And so I'm looking for this device so that I can send um, my RTK settings through my BLE or Bluetooth enabled device to here into the monitor. So okay. I've got this plugged into the nine pin serial and we're just going to communicate data that way. Cool. So I'm just going to, it's going to take me a couple minutes to get everything connected and we should be all set to go. So once we have this set up, I'll be able to log on to that, that account online, even like from my phone. Yes. And I'll be able to see like what's going on in the field, what's yielding and everything. Yeah. And we actually have two different things going on here with the iPad. We're sending the RTK signal and sending that correction to the monitor. Okay. And we're also using the iPad to take the, the information off the monitor and send it to the cloud. Okay. So that, and that's the part where you can see everything you're doing right. back at your iPad. Cool. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat all off arms work. So uh, we'll see you next time. It's like doing curls. Mm. So I'm uh, sitting up here on the top of the 8,000, 10,000 bushel bin. Well, it's a 10,000 bushel bin now. Um, and we filled it as full as we could get it. It's up to the spreader. Sturator's covered. And I don't think we could get it much more full. <laughs> so it's time to shut these up and get ready for harvesting uh, over the weekend. It's gonna be difficult getting trucks, so um, we're just gonna haul up here into the, the 20,000 bushel bin.